It Cosmetic Superhero, Superhero, my It Cosmetic Superhero. As I'm randomly discussing the formula, I'm just holding it up. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a new at the drugstore video for y'all today. These are probably some of my very favorite videos to film and to do because I just love drugstore makeup and I get so excited about new releases. I know you guys do too, so I found some goodies. So I'm gonna run through them quickly, give you some first impressions and swatches and just let you know my initial thoughts and do a little haul. So let's get to it. So I've actually already mentioned this mascara on my channel before and I think it was in a haul because I got this from Influencer. This is the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara, but this is a new product out in the drugstore right now, so that's why I wanted to include it in this video. I really don't like this mascara. I pulled up the description. It says, bold, sexy lashes for all. Get the bold, dark, voluminous lashes you've dreamed of with CoverGirl So Lashy Mascara. Our three-in-one brush shapes, molds, and builds lashes regardless of your lash type. While the specialized ball tip gets the corners and hard to reach lashes, it's the perfect mascara for any occasion. I don't think so. <laughs> At least not in my experience. I even tried to wear it again today and I had to use some mascara. Actually, my um, It Cosmetic Superhero, super my It Cosmetic Superhero mascara over it because my lashes were just looking sad and my bottom mascara is running right now. I don't know what happened with my makeup today. I was just playing with some different things and my makeup may be, may be looking a little bit crazy today. So if it is, I apologize. But anyway, I tried to wear this today and I mean the wand is kind of cool on it, but I just don't feel like this does very much. Like I don't feel like it gives very much volume, very much length. I can usually like tell how much I like a mascara by like I'll sit down at my vanity and I'll do my makeup and whatever and then when I walk into the bathroom and kind of see myself from far away then I can kind of see like can I see my lashes at all and I felt like I really couldn't see my lashes hardly at all with this mascara so I use something else on top of it just to kind of save it so I'm just not a big fan of this mascara I do love the lash blast line but these blast pro ones this one and the one that had the red top not a fan of either of those. I just don't feel like they do as much for the lashes as the regular Lash Blast mascaras do. And then Revlon has quite a few new products. Eye products, I've heard that they have new blushes, haven't found those yet. New lip products that I'll get to in a second, so just a lot of newness from Revlon. But first I have the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadows, and I got two different colors. I got 710, which I don't know if this has a name, 710 and which is kind of like a bronzy color and then 740 which is kind of like a purpley sort of a shade why do these not have names i don't like it when they don't have names just numbers that's boring let me look no i can't find a name anywhere on here so if they have a name i can't find them or they're too tiny for me to see so 710 and 740 is what we're gonna have to go with so 710 is right here, it's that kind of bronzy color, and there is 740. So I initially wore this one and really liked it. Like I thought it seemed creamy, I thought it seemed pretty pigmented, um, really glided on the eyes nicely, built up nicely. I used this one today, I mean I covered it up with a bunch of different things, but started out with this as a base and I was not as impressed with this one. It just didn't have as much pigmentation. Um, I kept kind of building it up and it just didn't seem to have the same like tackiness and pigment to it as the Maybelline color, not color tattoos. Yes, color tattoos, the Maybelline color tattoos, the potted ones. Well, I like the pencil ones, but I like the potted ones better. So I'm kind of comparing these to the potted ones mostly because I feel like the pencils are a little bit different. Anyway, the potted Maybelline ones, I feel like are just a different sort of a texture, like a, a thicker texture that builds on itself better and is more pigmented. These, um, this one I think is closer to the Maybelline ones, but I would say probably skip this one. Just, I'm not that impressed with that one. It's just not very pigmented, has some, you know, micro shimmer is kind of the main pigment to it is the micro shimmer, which I like shimmer, but I want some color behind it usually. Um, and the bronzy one, it's okay. I like the bronzy one pretty well, but 
I probably won't go out and purchase more colors of these. I'll just stick with the color tattoos. Now onto a whole lot of lip products because there are a lot of new lippies in the drugstore, which I love lip products, so I'm excited about it. So lots of new options out. I've already mentioned these on my channel. I've already done a lip swatch party on them. These are the Milani Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams, but I did want to include them in this video because I've seen them popping up actually in the stores now. Like I saw them at Walgreens, and I saw them at Walmart, but these are so pretty. I've got the lip swatch party on all the different colors, so check out that video if you wanna like pick out colors and whatnot, but I just grabbed a couple to show you. Number 06, Matley in Love, and number 09, Pure Matteness. If you like metallic lippies and you like liquid lipsticks, these are really, really pretty. They smell nice, they smell pretty sweet, I mean, so. I have to like that kind of like sweet, yeah, sweet kind of, I mean a, a hint of vanilla, but more just kind of like a candy sort of a scent. Like the um, Jordana liquid lipsticks, which, you know, I think they still have the same parent company or they are the same company, so that makes sense. Let me show you these really quickly while I'm babbling on. So that one is number six, what did I just say? Matley in Love, and the other one is 09 Pure Matteness. So pretty. I feel like they have a lot of like really cool colors like this one, kind of like browns and purpley browns and just some unique shades in the line. So anyway, check out that video. And then Wet n Wild has some new liquid lipsticks. These are the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. So I grabbed two different colors. Um, these remind me a lot of the ones from the fall collection. I think they pretty much are the same formula. So I got 924B Rebel Rose and 921B Nudist Peach. Let me swatch these. Well, that's kind of disappointing. The Nudist Peach is definitely not the color I was expecting it to be. I thought it was gonna be a lot more kind of nude, but it's a lot more just brighter peach. Not super duper bright, not neon peach, but it's brighter than I was expecting. And it's not super pigmented and a little bit patchy. So that kind of stinks. So this one I'm not a huge fan of. This one I really do like, which is Rebel Rose. I love the color of it. It's very opaque. This is the one that I actually like tried out more on my lips and it reminded me a lot of the fall ones. I think it's the exact same formula. Um, I would say these are not the most comfortable liquid lipsticks, but they're just a traditional liquid lipstick. So if you are used to liquid lipsticks, you know, they're kind of like drying sort of feeling and you know, just all the things that liquid lipsticks do. I'm showing you the doe foot applicator while I'm talking as I'm randomly discussing the formula I'm just holding it up, but I'm showing you something. I need to explain that before I actually do it. So doe foot applicator, it's that kind of like squishy doe foot applicator. Um, but yeah, it's a traditional liquid lipstick. It just kind of feels a little bit drying and um, kind of forms the line a little bit, but it's not super duper obvious because like, I find that if a liquid lipstick is the kind of formula to do that, I like to get one that's semi close to my lip color because then it's not as obvious. So I was wearing this one and I think it was happening a little bit, but it wasn't super obvious because it's so close to my lip color. So I like this one. These were around, I think these were like $4.99. Um, so I like them and I like the price point, but you know, not my favorite formula. They're just a traditional liquid lipstick. Mm -hmm. And not really a scent, just kind of smells like a makeup product. Now some Revlon lip products. So this is the Revlon Kiss Balm. It says Lasting Hydration Natural Fruit Oils SPF 20 and I got it in 030 Sweet Cherry. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. Really, really cute. Does it say anything about it? Not really, just kind of tells you the instructions of how to apply it. But yeah, it just seems like it's supposed to be kind of like a tinted lip balm that gives you hydration, that gives you some SPF on your lips. So they had multiple different colors. They also had one that looked like it would be clear and it said coconut, which I was tempted by that one because I love coconut scents, but I wanted to try something that had a little bit of color. So the outside packaging is super cute on this. The scent is amazing. Oh my goodness. It is yummy, like yummy candy, but not like a fake chemically candy scent. You know, a lot of makeup that smells like candy has that kind of like chemical scent behind it. I don't feel like this does. I feel like it just, I mean, smells amazing. Just like straight up candy. Now this is like a pretty 
sheer kind of a balm. Like it just has a little tint of a color. That's after me building it up. So just initially applying it, it's very light. So if you just want something easy to throw in your purse to give your lips hydration throughout the day, maybe like kind of even out a lip color that started to go away, this is a good product to just throw in your purse. I think it's really nice for that. Um, it does feel hydrating. Love the scent of it. Already mentioned that. Um, and it does feel really nice on the lips. You know, the only like negative to say about it is that it doesn't have much color to it, but I don't think it's intended to. I think it's just meant to be a comfortable moisturizing balm with a little hint of color. And these are the Ultra HD lip colors. I love the packaging on these. I think they are so pretty looking. Now, one of you guys did say on my Instagram, which I thought was a really good point that um, one of y'all said you didn't like the packaging because you thought it meant like it was going to be a metallic lip product because it kind of does look like that. I mean, it's super shiny packaging, um, so don't be misled. These are not metallic, but they are shiny. I just love the packaging. I think it's really pretty, but I can see how it could be a little bit misleading. So I have three different colors here. I have 710 HD Desert, 745 HD Rhubarb, and 765 HD Blossom. These are so pretty. Let me turn them the right way so you can see them all right there. So Desert, Rhubarb, and Blossom. Is that what it was? Blossom? Is that what I just said? Yes. And I've tried these out and first impressions on them, I really like them. I think they're hydrating. Um, I think they're comfortable on the lips. They do feel kind of very like gel-like. Um, I wouldn't say they were the longest wearing, but they weren't horrible. Like they didn't immediately disappear. Um, I think that they were a good shiny lip product. You know, I find that shiny lip products don't really last as long. Um, and these kind of did the same sort of thing. So I wouldn't expect them to last all day, but super duper comfortable, very nice and shiny. I think they're fun. I love the packaging. The negative I would say about them is the scent. They're very strong smelling like a fakey mango, mango pineapple apple or something like that, but mostly mango. I mean, it's, it's just very strong, but not as strong as one other lip product I'm about to talk about that's really, really strong. So I don't really love the scent, but once I have it on my lips, I really don't notice it, so it goes away. So that's not a make it or break it for me, but if I had something negative to say about them, that's what I would say. I just love like, I like that not only are they pretty to look at, but I like that they're kind of a long lip product. I think that's just something fun and different. I really like the packaging on this. And what I'm wearing on my lips right now, this is from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints, and this is in 310 Topless. Let me see. The display said, paint it loud, high impact color for makeup designer looks, because there were a lot of unique shades in this line. There was like a turquoisey blue, a purple, like lots of different purples, orange, this kind of taupey shade, and so kind of like creative sort of colors. But um, I like this. I really, really do. These remind me um, quite a bit of the Maybelline Color Jolts, but I like the packaging of this better. I just like that it's a doe foot applicator. It's kind of that like fluffy, squishy, angled doe foot applicator. I just I find that this is easier to apply. Um, now, formula-wise, I feel like they're close, but this feels like it moves less than the Color Jolts. It has that same kind of like high impact, shiny, jelly, gel-like sort of a lip product feel and look, but this just seems like it's going to move less. I can tell it's an infallible product. It just seems like it's designed to maybe stay a little bit longer, but while still being a lip paint sort of a product. So I'm liking this better than the Color Jolts. I just, I like that I don't have to worry about it moving as much. Like it still is probably going to move a little bit. And I do, like if I were wearing a bright red, I would be worried about it getting on my teeth but not as much as I would be with the color jolts. So yeah, and I really like Topless. When I first started putting it on, I was like, oh, that's a zombie color, but I kind of like it. <laughs> and then once I had it all on, I was like, oh, it's something different. I really like that it's something different, but I wasn't quite feeling a blue. I wasn't that adventurous. 
but at least I went for the taupe color. That's a little bit adventurous. That's dipping your toe in adventurous. You know what I mean? Lastly, I found a display of these. These are the Rimmel The Only One Matte Lipsticks. It says, Major Matte, a no compromise all-in-one matte lipstick, non-drying, color, comfort, moisture, and wear. So the display that I found had six different shades on it, so I bought all six of them, so I'm gonna do a lip swatch party on these. So I'm not gonna run through all the shades in this video, but I will show you um, one that I've worn that I really, really like the color of. And I'll give you some initial like first impressions on these. So a major negative about these is the scent. It is so sweet, it's sickeningly, weird sweet. Like I went to wear, um, I wore this one and then I went to wear this one yes yesterday, which is Keep It Coral. And it was like, it didn't even smell sweet. It's, it's like, it's so sweet. Something's wrong. <laughs> it's just bad. So that is a major negative about these is the scent. Um, and it does stick around for a little bit when you're wearing it. And it even tastes a little bit strange at the beginning. So, ooh, I don't know. I mean, scent-wise, major, major negative. Formula-wise, I'm really liking them so far. They're like creamy and comfortable and matte and long-wearing. So, if I can just like hold my breath when I'm applying them <laughs> and get just used to the scent somehow, um, I'm liking the formula and I do really like the packaging of them. I love that it's kind of that like matte-ish looking red. They're really, really pretty um, and I'm liking the colors so far. It's just the scent is so bad. It's so bad. But again, I'm going to have a lip swatch party. I'll run through all these different colors on my lips, on my hand. I do have swatches on my Instagram, so lots more information about these is available on my Instagram and also coming on my channel. All right guys, so that wraps up this new at the drugstore video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you have been spotting in the drugstore. If there are other goodies that I need to go hunt down and try out for you guys, definitely let me know down below because I love this. I love the hunt. I love finding the products, trying them out, sharing thoughts with you guys. So I would love to go on more hunts for you guys. So just let me know if there's other things I need to go hunt down. So yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.